Check this out. Women today are absolutely filthy and they create lies to cover over their dirty behavior. It's that she essentially has no truth. She will say whatever she needs to say and do whatever she needs to do to get what she wants in that moment. It happened to me. They would lie to you straight to your face and cheat on you straight to your face. I'm different. Yeah, she's a liar. Right or wrong means nothing to her. And the consequences to you mean nothing to her. That's what I'm saying. You never want to trust these girls out here, bro. Never trust a girl. These girls would cheat on you, lie to you straight to your face bro someone that has no truth is a very dangerous person because she'll lie straight to your face with absolutely no remorse listen if you got a girlfriend or a wife and you think she's a sweet little angel and she'll never stab you in the back and she'll never cheat on you you got a heartbreak coming for real for real reality is that most women cheat not all but the mass majority of women cheat he ain't lying on the count of three we're gonna say our body counts at the same time the truth be funny sometimes. Sometimes it hurts, sometimes it be funny. One, two, three, six fifty. Oh. Oh. Hell no. You're joking, right? No. <laughs> You're joking. Yours is not four. Come on. You're joking, right? <laughs> wait, wait, what, what's what's the joke? The six something like six twelve, but I don't do it. What a nice to be. What are you talking about? Six fifty's crazy. I'm not gonna be with anyone since we're together. Oh my. She's been with everyone. Now it's your turn. Dude, screw that. You've been with the whole freaking city, dude. Oh man wants to bring a known hoe, and it's, this is my wife. For real, for real. Dude, no, I haven't. Dude, Why are you mad? I don't know if I'm attracted to you at this current moment, nor will I be in, the, in the future. You can do anything you want. You can. But you're not free from the consequences. Well, you lied. That's true. You told me it was three, and I was your fourth. You lying ass. She can lie to others about you, damaging your reputation. She can lie to authorities about you, ruining your career. As women, we are all wolves in sheep's clothing. <laughs> she said it, I didn't. We disguise our ruthless nature through an outward show of innocence. Whether it's an intimate relationship or friendship, that early phase is very idealized and seductive. It's called love bombing. No shit. But it's really this phase where they're winning, not only winning you over with gestures and tactics, but with attunement and attention. You ain't got to explain nothing to me. They pay intense attention to you. But what you realize afterwards is some of that intense attention was them learning things about you that were going to be turned around and used against you down the road. For an outward show of innocence, kindness, playfulness, and fun. And then once we get what we want, the facade drops. That's often a point of devastation for a person who says, I was vulnerable with this person. I told them things that I'd never told anyone before. The person that you love unconditionally, they're going to teach you how to never love like that again. And then six months in, I was being shamed and humiliated and, and, you know, it was being used to sort of destabilize me. She doesn't care as long as she gets what she wants and other people believe that she's the victim. Do never believe a woman's story in her marriage. Operating with no truth, she can destroy you. Stop thinking it can't happen to you. The baddest motherfuckers that went down over a bum ass bitch. Real talk. I mean, think about how indiscriminate you are. You sleep with women, you sleep with men. What does it matter? You'll sleep with a guy after you just met him on the first day. You what? Because you give your body so easily, you now have lost the ability to truly connect. And because you're a pervert and you give your body so easily and you lay down with many men. All you're doing is making yourself a hoe. And then when you say, oh, I would be obedient and submissive, but this guy is not worthy. Negro, please. If he's not worthy, why did you give your body to him? That is a good tough question the guy that she met from the internet that she quit her job for uh who just lost everything and i had a thousand dollars left and i was like i i think you should leave me what? um i i think i am a, a sinking ship right now and i would respect you like we're cool if you want to walk away hey man i i tell the truth i would walk away from you right now she pulled my chin towards her and she was like i would sleep with you under a bridge if it came to that she has brought out the absolute best in me like in, in just about every way never let anything or anyone outside your home treat your man better than you do she just she believed in me and i think that's what most guys want truly you ain't never lie. you ain't never lie. at least for me that's what i wanted or needed
If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button or follow. And y'all be good. Oh, 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 oh